Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create multi-module Maven project in IntelliJ IDEA. Well, this is one of the common requirements for Java developers to create a multi-module Maven project in IDEs, right? Well, let's say if you are creating enterprise, you know, big application or a microservices project, then it's common that uh, you basically create a multiple module Maven project, right? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple you know model maven project in IntelliJ idea all right it's very simple we create a parent project within that we create multiple models and i'm gonna also show you how to you know communicate one module into another module i mean how to use one module into another module all right without further ado let's get started let's open the IntelliJ idea over here and go ahead and click on new project and you have multiple options like java maven gradle java apex so in our case let's go and let's select Marvin and project SDK well you need to choose the Java you know version over here that is JDK version so go ahead and choose whatever the JDK version you have in your machine and then go ahead and click on next and here we need to provide the project details well basically we are going to provide a parent project details over here let's go and let's give a parent project name something like blogger well basically we are going to create a blogger project it has multiple models like blogger core blogger web blogger ui blogger util all right great now go ahead and provide you know uh, the group id let's go ahead and let's give com dot blogger and artifact id let's keep blogger as it is and version keep default as it is and go ahead and click on finish all right so now we have created a maven parent project it's time to create a model within this parent project well in order to create a model within this parent project it's very simple just go ahead and right click on the project new and then choose model all right great and here don't choose anything go ahead and click on next and here look at here parent blogger all right you have to choose parent blogger because we are going to create a model within this parent right well let's go and let's give model name here let's say blogger hyphen core well within a blogger hyphen core we are going to keep all the core logic of our blogger project and just expand artifact coordinates and let's keep as it is all right and go ahead and click on finish now we have created blogger core well notice here as soon as we create a blogger core model within this blogger parent project you can see the pom.xml changes over here well if you can open pom.xml of parent project you can see a model section is created and within this models a model is defined here that is blogger core okay it means that this is the parent and this is the its model okay so as soon as we create the model uh, within this parent this pom.xml will be updated well let's go and let's add another module and let's see how this pom.xml will update so i am going to right click on the parent uh, project again new and then choose module and let's go and let's click on next and let's go and let's give a module name here and make sure that you choose the parent as a blogger and let's do model name something like blogger hyphen web okay and artifact coordinates let's keep as it is and make sure that group id you don't change group id because this is the group id is a unique basically unique id and it is used in all the you know projects and models and go ahead and click on finish let's say in a blogger web model we keep all the controllers and all the web related logic well as soon as we have added blogger web module you can just check out the pom.xml of parent module so look at here one more module is added to the modules list isn't it so as soon as we add the modules to the parent project the parent project more you know pom.xml will get updated so this is a very important and let's go and let's create a one more uh, model okay and let's call it as blogger util and in this model we basically keep all the utilities and let's keep 
artifact coordinates as it is and go ahead and click on finish and you can uh, again observe the parent pom.xml file over here you can see blogger hyphen util well now we have created three models within this blogger parent project and you can observe the packaging type over here parent pom.xml has a packaging type pom okay so this is a very important the parent moment project should have packaging type pom and the modules packaging type can be a jar or var okay right now you can see one of the module here there is no packaging type by default it is a jar for instance we can also mention packaging as a jar like this okay now let's say if you want to create a module which has a packaging type as a var so that you can create you know var file of that module and you can deploy in a external server right for that what you can do is you can again create one more module for example right click on the parent project new and then choose module and here you need to choose archetype okay so go ahead and choose web app for example let me search for web app here yeah there we go so go ahead and choose this one okay click next and here let's give blogger hyphen ui well basically we create a war file of uh, ui project and we deploy in a, a server right so let's give this uh, name as a module name and let's keep everything as it is go ahead and click on next and let's validate the properties all right group id is com.blogger and artifact id all right everything is perfect so go ahead and click on finish okay so this will create basically a web application all right maven web application is generated successfully and now we can verify its folder structure so go ahead and expand blogger ui expand src and expand main and you can able to see here web app web inap it means that our blog you know blogger ui web application is created successfully now you can keep all your uh, gsp or other files within this web app okay so this is how we basically create a web application that is maven web application in inclusion idea and this is basically a module within this blogger parent project okay great and if you can open its pom.xml and you can able to see here packaging as a war file so as soon as uh, maven will generate this you know web app it will automatically add packaging as a war okay so that you can able to uh, package this project as a war file and you can deploy in a external server for example tomcat or any other web server all right now basically we have created four modules within this blogger parent project now let's see how to use one module into another module for example let's say we have some utility classes in the blogger utility uh, module and we want to use its utility uh, classes within a blogger core okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a packaging structure over here for example com dot blogger dot util something like that and i'm going to quickly create one class let's say utility and within this utility class i'm going to quickly create one public static method here let's say this method just check you know whether a string is null or not for example let's say is null as a method name and just pass string argument for example let's say message and here i'm gonna add a condition let's say message equal to equal to null or message is empty then go ahead and simply return true okay or else simply return false let's go and let's create another method here let's say public static and boolean and in this case let's say method name is is not null all right and let's go and let's pass the argument string message all right and just return not 
is null and just pass message okay so these are the two static methods now what you can do is you can see how to use this utility class in other models okay for example i'm going to use this utility class within this blogger code so in order to do that go ahead and you know add this dependency in a pom.xml of blogger core module so open pom.xml of blogger core module okay and here go at the bottom and let's create a dependency section over here and let's have a dependency okay and this is com.blogger is a group id and artifact id is util our case okay so now we have added blogger util dependency okay now it's uh, we are good to use blogger utility classes so in order to use it what i can do is i can quickly create one packaging structure over here com dot blogger and then let's say um, core okay and within a core package i'm going to quickly create one class let's say main and within that i'm going to create a main method and here i will put our sys out okay and then utilities let's say utility it is not available because here you can see the dependency is not loaded just we have added blogger util dependency right and it is not loaded yet in IntelliJ idea because we need to click on this icon to load the maven changes so first go ahead and click on this maven icon to load the changes and once changes will get loaded then we can able to you know see its classes for example look at here now utility class is available from the blogger.util package just call its method that is is null and just pass null okay all right and this is null method internally you know validate whether the message is null or not this should be a logical or all right now let's go and let's run the program and let's see whether this is null method will get successfully called or not and there we go true it means that we have successfully you know used one module into another module okay we basically added blogger util as a dependency to the blogger core module all right now what we can do is we can see how to build this whole maven project so in order to build this maven project what you can do is you can go to the maven section here and then go ahead and click on this maven okay this is the execute maven goal so go ahead and click on it and here you need to search for clean install all right and go ahead and hit enter and this will build a whole maven project and you can able to see all the basically modules will get automatically built and there we go all right so blogger project is successfully built it means that we have successfully created a multi-module maven project in IntelliJ idea all right so this is one of the common requirement for java developers to create a multi-module maven project in ids okay so make sure that you know how to create a multi-module maven project and how to use one module into another module and what are the you know packaging types like jar var pom okay so just have idea about all these things so that you can able to create you know multi-module maven project all right i hope you found this video useful let me know if you have any questions on this topic in the comment section below so thanks for watching i will see you in next video